picking fruit from your own tree is really satisfying. Fruit that's left to ripen on the tree is juicier, sweeter, and has more healthy vitamins and minerals. I'll show you how to grow your fruit tree easy as. There's a huge variety you can grow at home, but make sure to choose trees that suit your local climate. If you need advice on what kind of fruit tree will grow in your area, just ask one of the staff in our garden centres and they'll show you what's available. Fruit trees are best planted in winter when the plant is dormant, but they can be planted any time until the end of spring. They need an open, warm, well-drained location with full sun for most of the day. This is really important for sweet, ripe fruit. In terms of size, standard fruit trees grow to about six meters, semi-dwarf about four meters, and for those smaller gardens, a dwarf tree will stay under two meters. When selecting, go for a grafted tree. This is a plant that's been grafted onto a different rootstock and is more disease resistant and will produce better fruit. Another factor in fruiting is pollination. Fruit trees need to be pollinated to bear fruit. Bees, birds, and even wind can help with pollination. Some trees are self-pollinating. Other fruit trees, like apples, need a cross-pollinator, which means you'll need another apple tree to get it fruiting. We can advise you about this in store, no worries. I've chosen to plant a peach tree, so the first thing we're gonna do is to dig a nice big hole so we can get some compost and sheep pellets into there first and mix it through as a base layer before we plant our tree. We've come across a little bit of clay, so it's a good idea to add some gypsum clay breaker. It helps improve the quality of your soil. Now be quite generous with this. It's pH neutral, so you can't really overdo it. Work the gypsum into the clay to make it less dense. Then in goes the compost, and sheet pellets, and mix them through. As a rule, when planting anything, getting the soil right is the best thing you can do to ensure the health and success of your plant. Seaweed tonic is great for reducing stress and transplant shock. Give your tree a good soak and a bucket of it before planting. Then cut open the bag. And also, just because it's been soaking, be gentle with the soil, as it could well be quite loose. If the soil falls away and it looks like the roots are quite bare, don't worry, this just means it's been root pruned to prepare it for transplanting. So now we're just going to top this up with some compost and some of our topsoil. Then just lightly work that through. Then press it down, keeping the soil below the base of the trunk to prevent collar rot. It takes a couple of years for a new tree to firmly anchor itself in the soil, so it'll need to be staked for support. Stake your tree as soon as it's planted, so you don't disturb the roots later on. And finally, water in. Well watered and fed trees will produce better fruit, so feed in spring and again in summer with citrus and fruit tree fertilizer. It's got the ideal NPK ratio for fruit trees, with a heavier dose of potassium K for fruit and flower production. With spraying in winter, if your trees have moss and lichen growing on them, use a lime sulfur spray. This will also help with leaf fall. When the leaves have fallen, use a liquid copper spray to help prevent disease next season. Conqueror oil will also help keep the pests away. In spring, keep an eye on buds, and a week before the flowers open, spray with a fungicide for healthy fruit. And when using chemical sprays, it's really important to check the label for the withholding period. This is the period of time you need to wait between spraying and picking. With peach and nectarine trees, keep an eye out for leaf curl. With apple trees, look out for coddling moth, and if you spot any, hang up a pheromone trap. And in the north of the North Island, look out for guava moth. If you spot any of these or anything else unusual, just head in store and we'll sort you out with the right product. If you're not sure what you're looking at, just take a photo and bring it in. When it comes to pruning, you want to remove dead, diseased or damaged wood and thin out branches to let light in which will encourage fresh growth. This will help to control the height and develop the shape of your trees to support future fruit. It's usually best done in winter when the trees are dormant. Make sure your secateurs are sharp and cut just above the bud growth. With any dead or diseased wood, always cut down to healthy tissue. 
A handy tip, only prune when the weather's good for a few days, as rain can spread bacteria and disease. Paint large cuts with a sealing compound to protect against disease. You can train your tree into a few different shapes. Espalier is a nice decorative style where the tree is trained horizontally. Central leader is a pyramid shape with one central main branch. And vase with four or five central leaders and an open center. When fruit does start to appear on your new trees, even though it might seem odd, in the first year or two after planting, remove any fruit that grows. This lets the tree concentrate on establishing itself and will help encourage better fruiting in the next season. It depends on the fruit, but when they're ripe, if you can, use sharp secateurs to cut them off at the stem, rather than twisting, as this will preserve them for longer. Right, now you've got the how-to and the info you need to get stuck in and grow your own fruit trees, easy as. And in a couple of seasons, you'll be picking your own delicious fruit.